Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1 on all pre-A5 devices. Now this includes the iPhone 4, 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th generation. Now this jailbreak is a tethered jailbreak, and if you are looking for the untethered 6.1 jailbreak, that will be coming in the near future, and I will have video coverage of it when it does become available, so you have the ability to, to jailbreak those uh, A5 devices. So first off, make sure you plug your device into iTunes via the cable and go ahead and put your device into DFU mode by holding the top and the bottom buttons for 10 seconds. And then once that 10 seconds has gone by, you can let go of the power, keeping the home button held down for an additional 5 to 8 more seconds. Then head over to your computer and open up the latest version of Red Snow, Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3. Go to Extras and select your IPSW. Now since Red Snow has not been updated to support 6.1, we will have to browse and select our iOS 6 firmware for our device, not the 6.1 firmware. So once you have that selected, it will be successfully identified. And then you can go ahead and click OK and go back to Red Snow's homepage and click the jailbreak. Now, this will be uh, preparing the jailbreak data by going through the kernel and then patching it. And then you have the ability to select Cydia as it already is and continue. Now, on your iDevice, you will begin the jailbreak data process and the lines of code will follow. And I have sped this up a little bit just so it doesn't waste all of your time during this process. Now, like I said before, guys, this is the 6.1 tether jailbreak for all pre-A5 devices. So if you happen to be on 6.1 and don't want to wait for the untethered, this will work. But if you are on a pre-A5 device and want to wait for that untethered 6.1 jailbreak, that will be coming in the near future, and I will have coverage, like I said before. So Red Snow should be done, and your device should be installing the bundles, rebooting, and then going back to the main screen here after the Apple logo has finished loading up here. Back on your iPhone, you can go ahead and slide to unlock, and you will notice that Cydia is not there because we will have to put our iDevice back into Red Snow and perform a just boot method. So go ahead and put your device back into DFU mode by holding the top and the bottom buttons for 10 seconds, and then letting go of the power, keeping the home button held down for an additional five to eight more seconds and head back over to Red Snow on your computer. In Red Snow, go ahead and open it back up and select Extras and select your IPSW firmware. Again, select the iOS 6 firmware and not the iOS 6.1 since Red Snow has, has not been updated to support 6.1 yet. Once you have browsed and selected your iOS 6.0 firmware, you can go ahead and head up to the top and this is what where we will be performing the just boot once it has been su successfully identified. Click the just boot and it will be patching through the files here, rebooting, and then exploiting with the Lime Rain jailbreak process as I have sped this up quite considerably like I said before. So for the iOS 6.1 untethered jailbreak that will be coming out in the near future, it will support all devices from the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, up to the iPad 4th generation. So once Red Snow has been done here, you can go ahead and slide to unlock your device, and you will notice that Cydia is now on your device, and you have a fully functional Cydia on your pre-A5 device running iOS 6.1. So guys, if you do like these videos, don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. Also, stay tuned for the iOS 6.1 Untethered Jailbreak, which will be coming out in the near future. Later, guys.